Good morning, my family in Christ, especially our fathers. As we journey to Father's Day this weekend, I want to say a happy Father's Day to all of our fathers. May the Lord bless you and keep you, strengthen you as you seek to serve in this awesome and honorable position and calling and gift. We just give God thanks for you as a father and we honor God. And as happy as Father's Day will be for most of us, because our fathers will be right there to touch, to receive the gifts, to be told how much they are loved and appreciated. For some of us, our fathers will be absent, whether because they may be incarcerated or abandoned their responsibilities, whether they may be just missing in action, whatever the case is. For some of us, our fathers are not here because of death. And that's not as happy as we want to be. But we still honor God for memory. And there are some of us who don't want to remember how difficult those times are. But today we bless God, our Heavenly Father, who promised never to leave us nor forsake us. And so, even though our earthly fathers may be absent for whatever reason, our Heavenly Father is present and He's there to help us through our difficulties, even in our celebration of this Father's Day. Our Heavenly Father is present to help us to navigate even if the memories are terrible of our fathers our heavenly father is there to keep us to cause us to still give a praise to be a blessing to some other father who might have stepped in to make the difference and we rebuke those men even today who seek to take advantage of those who are less fortunate. We pray for you and your hearts be changed so that the love of God will manifest in you so that you may love rather than hurt. You may bring comfort rather than madness. God is there to even help you as a male man to do what is right and righteous. And today we want to meditate on Psalm 127 verse 1. And it speaks about our Heavenly Father who is always there. And without Him, it ain't going to happen as it should. And it reads, Unless the Lord builds the house, those who build it labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. The word of God to the people of God. And the word Lord in this text speaks about the self-existent God. The one who made the heavens and the earth our Heavenly Father. And I say to you, to those of us who are happy because our fathers are there, and even those who may be sad, not as happy because our fathers are absent for whatever reason, our Heavenly Father is present. And my prayers that we allow Him to build our house, our mind, our intellect, our spirit, build us lest everything else will be in vain. That we will allow him to keep us. Lest whatever we do to keep us will be in vain. God is our Heavenly Father. And we must be thankful to him. And I honor God even today. I lost my father when I was in grade three. God has kept me. He has kept my family then. 
and he's keeping us right now. We give God praise and we celebrate every father everywhere. Thank God for my children, my wife who supports even now me as a father and I give God praise. Thank God for Father's Day. Father, we honor you today. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your power. And I pray for every family everywhere who dads are missing for whatever reason to still celebrate you, our Heavenly Father, and give thanks because you promise to keep us, to provide for us. We pray for those who have fathers present. We honor you for the happy day that will come even this weekend. And we recommit those families to you. And we pray that we would allow God to build. We would allow God the Father to keep. That's what we do will be in vain. And so we give you praise for fathers. And we thank you that we will own our responsibility allowing you to guide us and lead us in the way we should go. And we thank you. We ask your forgiveness for those fathers who intentionally neglect for whatever reason. May they repent. Hallelujah. May they turn. May they do that which is right and righteous so that they may please you even today. We thank you. We bless you. We honor and adore you. We lift those who lead the nations this morning including our Prime Minister and all of Parliament and leaders everywhere. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And for families, we give you thanks. And for fathers, we give you praise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you today. As we seek to celebrate, show love to Daddy this week, this weekend. And even for the rest of your life, it's very important. He needs to know that you love him, care for him. God bless you. And fathers, let's continue to be steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. And if you have not yet started serving God, fathers, you're missing out. Repent, confess, and receive the Lord. He is faithful even today. Have a great day in the Lord and have a happy Father's Day. Amen.